Ever since they discovered this pile a couple of days ago, we find ourselves returning here often, mostly because it has the most dense microbial life of any soil on the farm. Yeah, that's true. It's a wonderful resource for microbes, especially here. They're starting you know, a new farm and they need to build soil to really improve soil fertility. And we would expect that this pile has the best microbial life because it provides the best environment on the farm for those microbes. It has all the food that these microbes need and the, the cover on top is protecting it from the sun and holding the moisture inside. So the microbes in here have everything they need to be growing and flourishing and they haven't really touched this pile in two years, mm -hmm. so it hasn't been turned like the agricultural fields, so there's no disturbance for the microbes, so they can just grow freely. We were invited here to teach about the soils and set up a basic soil biology lab, which is really exciting for us because the soils are something that nobody really even talks about or understands, and it's just so important because there's so much life underneath the soil. In one teaspoon of good, healthy soil, there are over one billion bacteria, 900 feet of fungi, 50,000 protozoa, and several dozen nematodes. It, it, it's feeding the plant, right? So we all have this idea that we need the nitrogen and the fertilizers to feed the plant to make them grow. But for millennia, Mother Nature has been feeding the plants and making everything on Earth grow without our input. And it's these soil microbes which do that. The plants have a relationship with the soil microbes, which allows them to obtain all the nutrients that the plants need in the soil. The microbes help produce good soil structure. They cycle various nutrients, such as nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus. They interact with each other at the root zone of the plant and provide all the nutrition the plant needs. So we all know that the, the, that the plant undergoes photosynthesis. Like the sun hits it, there's the, the chloroplast, it creates these sugars, and we all think that's what it uses to make itself grow. But really a plant is taking more than half of that, like 60% of every, all the energy that it, that, it, that it grows, that it makes from the sun, and it's feeding it through these root exudates to the microorganisms in the soil. These little guys, these, these fungi, these bacteria, they can't photosynthesize, so they uh, rely on the plant to get all the food that it needs, but there's a little trade going on here. So in exchange for the sugars that the plant is giving it, the soil microbes are providing the food that the plant needs to grow. 